All right, guys, so this is my good friend Amir Burnett. We call him Boogie. That's his nickname. Um, but yeah, Boogie, so as I... <laughs> As I, as I am uh, in understanding that you have been incarcerated a couple of times, and just want to ask you a couple of questions about that. Um, what was it like? I mean, what, uh, how did you, uh, did you think you, um, uh, you got, I don't want to say got better, but you, it was a good experience for your criminal activity, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, did you come out of prison, you know, feeling the same way when you went in, or did you change? Like, how was it? What was it like inside? Um, it was horrible. Yeah. I was a bunch of loser ass dudes. And nobody was getting no fucking money in there. It was whack. You know, um, prison definitely didn't make me better or anybody around me better or anybody I've ever seen go to prison better. Honestly, prison really only makes you worse. If you really go by the saying birds of a feather flock together, well, if you put a motherfucker with a bunch of other motherfucking criminals and you expect them to come out to be a fucking saint, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> You know, and that, that makes sense, I mean, the way you said it, I mean, it's like you put one criminal with another criminal and there's not a lot of, you know, kind of surveillance over what you're doing, like, in your private time, you know, it's like you can do whatever you want, but, um, so, uh, uh, do you think the government is um, doing a, a good job at lowering the amount of people going into prison, or do you think they don't, they don't care, they're just arresting every criminal and throwing every criminal into prison just to get off the streets? Well... You say criminal, like, they're specific. Anybody can be a criminal at any given time. So anything you do can and will be used against you in a court of law. You know? Um, yes, the dudes that's been caught and motherfuckers that ain't been caught, but trust me, once you go through the system, they're going to act like they don't give a fuck about you anyway. So it's not like they're just... So you feel like that they're not trying to help you, but they're, they're trying to... Uh, they're just trying to put you away for a while to get you off the streets? Or do you think they're actually trying to, like, make it that you won't go back to prison? Like, it's a deterrent, you know, it's they're not trying to... They're trying to get you afraid of prison so they don't want you to go back there by doing some stupid stuff. No, they they actually really set you up to go back to prison. They don't set you up to stay out of prison. Or the only way you stay out of prison is if you're going to come home and do all, like, the grunt work. You know, if you're going to come home and work the minimum wage job that nobody wants or whatever, shit like that. But it doesn't it doesn't deter you from going back to prison. Just the experience alone might. But the chances is a lot of guys that go to prison are gonna go for a year or more, like some time. They're gonna spend some time away from home. And everybody's situation is different. Most of these guys were probably on the street into drugs or into hustling, selling drugs or robbing people. Um, fact of the matter is that a lot of these guys didn't come from money. So when they come back home, they want to get some type of income in their pockets, mm -hmm. which ultimately risks them going back to jail. Exactly. And that's like that's what we're talking about in class right now is how like it's like people go into prison saying, oh, like when you're in prison, I'm never going to go back to prison. I'm never going to do this stupid stuff again. But then you come out and it's like, I have no money still. I could be doing this stuff easily and making lots of money very quickly. So why would I not? You know, it's like, what's the chance of me getting caught again? That kind of thing. It's like, it's exactly what you're saying. It's like, you're going to, you go back to prison, but that's not really in your mind because you got, you know, $5,000 in your pocket by doing one little thing, you know? So it's, you know, um, I'm glad that you were able to uh, kind of fill us in on, you know, what it's like, you know, kind of going through that, through that, you know, system and, um, hopefully the government will start to help out a little bit and start to you know lower that rate because I, I'm sure you know prison's crowded you know right like well the government won't lower the rate of prison see what prison is it's not really a deterrent not to go to prison it's really a deterrent for you not to go against the government mm. so anytime you stand up against the government you're gonna go to prison. Mm. A lot of the laws that are made now against motherfuckers, the government been doing for a long fucking time. They ain't getting away with it. <laughs> yeah. All right, you know Boogie. Yeah, no. I appreciate your time, man. I think that's uh, you're gonna help, uh, help us out with this and kind of give us a better idea you know, of what you've been through and you know, kind of what not to do, I guess. But thanks, man. You're welcome, sir. HBO for life. Jack.